Hey, what's going on guys? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure here and uh, it is Facebook Market Saturday, I guess. Um, really nothing going on in town. I, there was one estate sale that I could find and that we hit yesterday. You saw that video. So today, um, you, you got to go about things a little bit different in the north. Um, when we actually have winter and we have garage sale season, we, we're not going to have garage sales for a while now. So you got to take initiative a little bit. So scrolling through Facebook actually last night and um, I happened to see a lady posted an ad about uh, she's trying to sell off some of her son's uh, snapbacks that he just never wore. Um, she wanted 10 bucks a piece for them, which is fairly high, but they're in very good condition. Um, they're, they're not new, but they're new adjacent. Um, and the only reason I really considered it is uh, there's a San Francisco 49ers hat in there. And uh, I'm gonna post that as soon as I get it and get home because that stuff, uh, any of the 49ers, any of the Chiefs gear is selling like fire right now. So you wanna get that if you can find it. Um, she wanted 10 bucks a piece, as I said. I talked her down uh, if I did a bulk deal and we had three for 25 bucks, which is eight, what, 30 a hat, something like that. And so I, I said, well, what if I get another one? Um, let's make it four hats for 30 bucks and she did that so uh for those of you keeping score at home that is not how much you typically want to pay for hats but like i said there's a san francisco 49ers hat in there they're selling quick and they're selling higher priced right now with them being in the super bowl so um i've got to check comps just to make sure but i'm gonna hope i can get 25 to 30 dollars out of that hat just by itself um just because of the time um, that this is falling in. So I think that's good. There was also a, a New England Patriots hat in there that looked really nice. Their stuff always sells. There is uh, the one that we threw in at the end was a Cleveland Cavaliers hat, which, you know, okay. Um, and then the other, the fourth one is a Seattle Supersonics hat, which for those of you who don't follow sports, the Supersonics no longer in Seattle. It was an NBA team. They've been gone for a while now. And uh, it's a shame they should be back and their stuff sells really well if you can find especially the vintage stuff if you can find like vintage uniforms uh find vintage pennants uh foam fingers anything you can find that's sonics that's uh vintage from the day when they were actually playing there really good uh this hat i don't think is a vintage hat it's one that uh it's, it's a modern hat a modern sonics hat but that stuff still sells so i think we're going to do okay on this stuff uh i'm hoping that we pay the whole thing off or pay most of it off with the 49ers and then the rest of it is profit so let me show you the house i'll go get them and then uh we'll show them to you real quick before we move on to step number two for the day so that's the house right over there i'll let you know when we get back okay guys we're back and we got the hats um and they look in pretty good condition i'm not gonna have to clean them I'm not gonna have to do anything. There's one little spot. Of course, it's on the 49ers hat, but I think it's fine. Um, just a spot on the front, but here is, yeah, here's the 49ers hat, really cool split panel. Uh, it's got the embroidered um, puffy logo on there, the embroidered 49ers logo. This is a new era hat, new era sells well. Um, snapback, this is gonna be really good. So we've got that one. Here's our New England Patriots hat. Again, new era, um, the embroidered puffy lettering on there. Um, I think this is this is a nice hat. I can't really see anything on the white. I'll put this under some light. I mean, you can see that it was worn, but uh, I, I think it's okay. I, I think this is a good one. Um, here's our Cavaliers hat, keeping with the sports theme. I really don't know how much this one is worth, but it is a nice hat. Um, it's Mitchell and Ness, which also can be a good sale. So we'll keep an eye on that one. And then here's our Seattle Supersonics hat. Really cool. Um, it's got the green and yellow team colors. It's got the puffy embroidered uh, logo and spell out this. Another one that's uh, Mitchell and Ness. They do a lot of like throwback stuff. So um, this one I think is going to be really nice out of that set too. So we got some hats. I love selling hats. They're super easy to post. They're super easy to ship. Um, they, they take seconds to put in the box and ship off. They're almost always going to weigh somewhere between eight and 10 ounces. So they're very cheap. You can do free shipping on those um, very easily and be very competitive. So 
we'll see. Um, like I said, I hate paying up that much for baseball hats, but I think it's going to pay off. So I'm meeting somebody else here. Um, I mentioned it in the video yesterday, going to meet a guy to look at, uh, I think it's primarily clothes, but I know he's got hats, he's got shoes. I don't know if he has any hard goods, we'll see. Um, I've got some cash, so we'll see. I know he wants the cash. So um, I've got a little bit of time before we do that. I think he's about 20 minutes out from me. It's a little bit of a drive, um, but I've got time, so I think what we're going to do is run into a little thrift store first, do a little bit of a thrift trip. Might as well, right? We are now at the Bargain Basement, which I lovingly call the Little Old Lady Church Store. These ladies are fantastic, and uh, th there's not a lot of stuff in here, but I always seem to find something. And got about an hour to thrift. It's not going to take that long to uh, to go through this, and I may get a hold of that guy and see if we can meet a little bit early, uh, or I may grab a bite to eat. We'll see, but. Let's take you inside the uh, little, little uh, let's take you inside the little old lady thrift store and we'll see what we can find. seen these before. Surprisingly not really worth much. I remember how I talked about uh, finding gems. big bones.
Okay guys, that is the best I have done in that store for quite some time. We pulled out some Levi's, we pulled out some Revere wear, we pulled out that Halliburton case, the Halliburton case. Um, my phone's almost dead and I gotta go meet that guy. So let me go out there and then we'll go over everything when I get home. We're heading out to Aaron's place. Um, he said he's got all his stuff out in the kitchen. So he's really hoping I find something that I want. Uh, me too. Uh, we'll see. I don't want to get buried under a whole pile of clothes, but I think he's going to have some good stuff. Check this view out though, guys. So yeah, Montana, it's awesome. Um, yeah, so dirt road here and we're almost to his place and have been out here before, but I think we can find something. And then we're gonna go over what I found at the bargain basement because uh, a home run with that Halliburton case. We'll go over it here in a little bit. I showed you there some of the um, some of the shoes, some of the clothes, um, very few of the clothes, but a few of them, um, and, and the hard goods that were out. And then we went uh, back into the bedroom. He had a whole bunch of clothes in the closet too. Didn't get any uh, any video of that, but uh, wanted to give you an idea of what we were looking at. Anyway, um, I got out of there with a fantastic deal. Aaron is a really great guy. He knows what I'm gonna have to do. He knows it's gonna take a while to make money on all this. I gotta store it, I gotta ship it, all that stuff. And um, it's all stuff that he doesn't like. You know, he, he decided he just didn't like doing all that stuff, dealing with that on eBay. So um, he got some of his money back that he invested in it. Mostly he got the space back uh, because he's moving soon uh, to a different place and he didn't wanna have to pack all that stuff up and move it. So uh, we came to a deal and then he, ended up throwing some more stuff in saying hey just take it um, and then he threw in eBay tape and some poly mailers and some bubble wrap and you know fantastic deal I'm really really happy um, it's gonna take a while to get through but I knew that and now we've got some great product so let's get home I'm gonna show you what we got at the bargain basement because there's just a little bit of that and we showed you a little bit of the store and then we're gonna actually push um, all the stuff back there, oh yeah, it's stacked up back there. Um, all the stuff back there, we're going to put that in a separate video. So that's coming up, and I'll go over all the stuff that we got there with Aaron. Um, not necessarily all the comps, because a lot of it, I don't know. I just know that some of it's quality, some of it uh, should sell. So 
we'll go over it and then uh, we'll keep track of it and I'll let you know how much we make off of this deal. I think it's going to be a really good deal. So um, I will let you know we, we pay $200. We pay $200 for a whole mess of stuff. So let's get home. Okay, guys, we are back, and as promised, time to go over what we got at the Little Old Lady Church Store. Um, one of the things, and I'm not sure what's going to make the video, uh, at some point I had to stop doing uh, any uh, video in there. It got to be a little bit crowded, and it's a very small space, so it was super awkward. Um, and then I had stuff in my hands, and it was just, it was kind of awkward. So I, th I think we're going to have in there uh, at least some stuff to show you. Uh, and at least you get an idea of, uh, of the place. It's fairly small. Um, I usually don't find as many things in there as I did today, um, but we usually uh, go every three, four weeks. I try to go and I find a gem, and uh, I found a couple of good things today. One of them, uh, I think we saw this guy. This is uh, this checks a couple boxes, which is interesting. The first, we got uh, Buzz Lightyear in here, and this is Fisher Price. This is Little People. Little People stuff can sell really well. Um, this isn't particularly old. This is, where is it? Oh, here we go, 2012 is what this one is. But um, Buzz himself, I think, is like a $12 little person. But then the fact that this thing works. Activate hyperdrive. Yeah, I think with, with Buzz, I think this is like a $25 deal. So not bad, this is a good deal. Um, we got out of there for uh, $21.10. Um, and, and now the tags are off of these, so I don't remember what each of them cost. I think this was two bucks. So, um, good deal on this. Um, we'll set that down there. Okay, I think this was two, two bucks um, right now. And, and I actually got him thinking we got a koala with the Australian flag on it. I'm going to put him up and uh, find out if there's a way to uh, send the proceeds of that to uh, an organization helping out over there with uh, with the wildfires. So that's what this guy is for. Um, he was two bucks. I don't know what he's worth, but we're going to see if we can uh, see if we uh, do something with that. Um, I got this. This was just a flyer. Um, I don't know. It, it's going to take a while to sell. I think it was a dollar. Um, it is uh, Morphe Auctions Fine and Decorative Arts for December 12th, 2019. So it's just a, a book full of a bunch of expensive stuff. Um, but it's like a coffee table book and people like looking at it. There we go, see? Pretty stuff. Um, there's a few listed, only like three I think were listed. And one sold, they took a best offer off of like $24.95 or something. So. I don't know, and there was none uh, of this particular one in this uh, this current um, book. So we'll put it up, and we'll put it up for the same thing, I suppose, twenty four ninety five, and see what happens for a dollar. I was willing to take a flyer on it, um, so we'll see. This is our ten cents. Um, picked up a postcard. This is a uh, Color Master International. Uh, it was printed in. Uh, it says yachting at Oban. I don't know where Oban is, I'll look it up, but uh, it's printed in Great Britain. And it looks like uh, a pretty cool postcard. So I figured, why not, 10 cents. I might put it up for 9.99, see what happens. Um, that was pretty cool. Got a hat, I'm a sucker for hats, as you know. And uh, this one, the North Face, uh, it's got some wear on it. Uh, but I think it's a cool hat. And it's actually, it's one of those where the wear actually looks cool. It's a cool wear. So we'll see. I mean, it's just the mesh. It's a snapback. I don't think it's, it's not vintage or anything. Um, let's see the tag in here. Uh, made in China. Yeah, it, it, probably not vintage, but it's a cool North Face hat. So uh, we'll, we'll grab that for a buck for sure. Got, uh, I think you saw, I think right about when I stopped filming was when I started flipping through clothes. Nobody wants to watch that anyway, but got a pair of uh, really good shape Levi 502s. These are 3032, so a little bit of a different size, but I, I think it's a good color. It's not the standard um, blue jean, but um, I think somebody out there, a 3032 out there somewhere is going to want these, and they were three bucks. So we grabbed those. What else we got here? Um, these. I think you saw these. These were new sealed. This is a collection by Charter Club, Damask, a stripe. That's a bed skirt. Nothing that's siding. It's on a twin bed, um, but it's... I was looking at it to make sure it wasn't repackaged, and it wasn't. But you look at the original price. This came out of Macy's, 
and it was 50 bucks out of Macy's. I'll put comps up there, so I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna guess it's like a $20 piece. I don't know, but very easy to list, very easy to ship, and a couple bucks, I grabbed that. And then last few things, this, whoo, I just about threw the lid. <laughs> We're gonna set the lid down. I do have the lid for this. This is just a saucepan, but um, I've recently learned, I think Commonwealth Picker is where I learned this. I think, I think I saw it on your channel. Um, it needs some cleaning and I'm gonna scrub on the bottom to get some of this off, but this is uh, Revere Wear. And uh, I've learned, it's a copper bottom. Um, some of these can be worth money, especially if they have uh, the lid. And this one does, well, I promise, it does have the lid. This is just a two quart saucepan. Um, I think this is like a 20 or $25 saucepan. So grabbed that, there's the lid. And then I grabbed another one too. This is also, I think, was this Revere? I think. Yeah, this is also a Revere wear. I can't see the bottom is really, um, really kind of dirty. So I'm going to have to scrub on it to see if I can find out um, the numbers on it. Or I can just measure it and, and see what, uh, what size it is. But another Revere. So uh, grab that because they can be worth some money. So um, that is almost it. Let me move this stuff because our home run was actually... Oh, almost lost our postcard. The home run was actually the very first thing that we found, and you saw that, that was on a bottom shelf, really easy to miss, is this thing. Um, and you can see on there, or I think you saw in the video, this is Halliburton. The FCW on there, I don't know. I mean, I think somebody, that's probably somebody's initials, so maybe that hurts, but the quality is there. Metal case with the combination. combination. Um, it's a Halliburton case, so, I don't know, for five bucks, it was definitely worth taking a shot at, even with the initial plate on there. Um, some of the comps for this thing are like a hundred bucks. So with the initials, if I put it lower, we put it at like 50 or 60 bucks, I feel like it's gonna sell. And uh, like I said, we got out of there for $21.10. So I think we did really, really well. I'm excited about it. So um, that's what I've got for you today, guys. Um, I've got to get this stuff in. I think I'll post a couple of them to get some of these things in. But then I've got to unload the back of the tank because it is full of the stuff that we picked up at Aaron's place, um, a former reseller, and uh, kind of cherry-picked some of his better items. And uh, that's going to be another video because there's so much stuff. It's going to take me a while to go through it all and, uh, and to bring it in and to show you. So that's coming up. you got something to look forward to for now. That's what we got. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I appreciate it. Bye.